I'm really starting to get worried. This isn't like Zoe. We'll find her. I'm Sloane. And I'm part of an ancient coven of dark witches known as the Bloodborne. I have lived many lives. With one mission. To reunite with my soulmate. The last time I died, I broke the rules. And now this is my last life. Adrian, you do not have a doorbell, right? You should try using it. I prefer just popping in. I never know who or what I might catch you doing. You can tell the adversary of nothing new to report. Yeah, that doesn't work for him. You know, if I hadn't found her, none of you would know where she was. He knows that, and he appreciates your diligence in this matter. Here. Swap those out for the ones they have her on. It's a nasty little cocktail she's sipping. I thought it was just a memory spell. I've been looking for ways to reverse it. Even if you can reverse it, you need to get her off the meds. All those antipsychotics are laced with lathe compound. What's that? Lathe is one of the five rivers of Hades, also known as the river of unmindfulness. Myth follows that those who drink from it experience complete forgetfulness. Well, it ain't a myth, sweetie. It's no wonder she can't remember who she is. So what's your big plan? I don't need a plan. I've got tequila. What are you doing here? I thought you might want to hang. We look so nice and I don't really go out. Like, ever. Oh, well, we can pretend it's night out. Go get dressed. And I don't get much dressier than this. <laughs> I'm sure Zoe has something you could slip into. I don't feel much like partying. What's wrong? Zoe's missing. Missing? I haven't seen her since yesterday morning. She seems like the party girl type. She's probably just out with friends. I was thinking that, but this is unlike her. Well, that's even more of a reason to drink. Let's get your mind off that. I'm sure she's fine. Here's the alcohol. The rose-colored glasses of life. Of Scott Fitzgerald, right? Yes. Well then, here's to the beautiful and the damned. Go get dressed. <laughs> Sorry, man. Haven't seen her since the party. You should check with Katie. I think she and Zoe were working on a class project yesterday. Cool. Thanks, guys. No problem. Hope you find her. So, so we and Katie were supposed to work on a project together yesterday. We should go talk to her. You any leads? On some good kush. You don't think this has anything to do with the attack on Taylor, do you? I hope not, but I've considered it. Maybe it's all beginning. Not possible. We've been careful, we've kept her hidden. And Yelena took care of her boyfriend Rick years ago. Uh, we just need to hope that Kristen keeps convincing her that she's a nut job, and we'll be fine. How long before she figures out that there's nothing wrong with her? We've been through this, Gray. Are you tapping that? Aren't you violating, like, some cosmic law or We're something? We're not sleeping together. <laughs> Besides, I don't get what the big deal is. She didn't do anything wrong. Yet? Dude, haven't you read the prophecy? She's all end of days. Apocalyptic scary. I'd be afraid to sleep with a girl like that.
Do you believe in this? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I guess anything is possible. I probably died horribly young before I could do anything worth doing. <laughs> what happened to those rose-colored glasses? Well, I probably found love before I reached my tragic end. Is that better? Yes. What about you? I probably did horrible, horrible things and now I'm fated to live this mundane life. I take that bet. Really? Yeah, there's something sinister about you. Well? Wow. <laughs> this feels very silly. It's just us. You're hot. Gray's a lucky guy. More drinks. <laughs> no, no. You're gonna beat me at Monopoly and ping pong. <laughs> okay, well, I've had plenty of practice, so you can spin again if you want. I guess it's truth or dare. I'm pretty boring, I always pick truth. Truth it is. <laughs> so, why are you so afraid to leave this apartment? Anxiety? Paranoia? Just crazy. <laughs> no, I, I really am. I've been seeing a therapist for as long as I can remember. Multiple personality disorder. It's under control for the most part. <laughs> Probably scaring you. <laughs> no, you're not. It's fine. My altars barely surface at all anymore except for my dreams. Maybe you're not crazy. Maybe they're, I don't know, past life memories. You think? You said anything's possible. Hey, Gray. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm actually just reading. Yeah, I'm positive. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Everything all good? Yeah, she's just reading. She seems a lot calmer. Kristen's working on a tracking spell, and she said she'll let us know when she finds something out about Zoe. You wanna try this out? Yeah, why not? I'll call Kristen. Zoe, what are you doing here? To do what must be done. She's got to be spelled or something. What do you think? Convert a mini sakuta piece. 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 So it's just you and Zoe? Yeah. Um, her parents were killed in an explosion. There was a gas leak in our house. We were lucky, I guess. Zoe was away at sleepaway camp when it happened, and I'm told that a neighbor carried me out of the house. A lot happened that summer. My parents and Rick was killed in a car accident. Your ex-boyfriend, right? Yeah. Anyway, my therapist says I'm repressing the memories. Probably for the best. I 
that you just wish we played another board game, huh? No. I like learning about you. So, truth or dare? Truth. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Where do you come from? <laughs> what do you do? How did you end up at our party the other night? I know nothing about you. Well, that's more than one question. <laughs> Let's see. I just moved here from Seattle. I'm a transfer student and I'm working on my honors thesis. What's it about? Well, killer couples throughout history. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to do whatever it is you want most in this moment. and I am your host for Afterlife. After every episode of Last Life, you can find me here chatting with the cast and crew about what you just saw. So make sure that you subscribe and tune in to get more of the juicy details. Next time on Last Life. Someone else is trying to get into Taylor's head. You remind me of someone. Rick, my ex-boyfriend. What if my parents come in? What if they're not my alters, but our past life memories? Be just like the Bloodborne to use somebody else to do their dirty work. It's working, I just need more time. Your time is up, my dear. Do you want to go on a date? Yes. <laughs>